I'm going to show you how to install Phosphobot very quickly on your computer. So first of all, you need to go to Phosphos documentation, so docs.phosphos.ai, and in the installation part, you need to copy-paste this line of code directly onto your terminal and run it. So now it's installing Phosphobot, so as you can see, I'm using Homebrew because I'm on macOS. Up, oh, already done, amazing, congrats. You have Phosphobot installed on your computer, and now you guessed it right, we need to run it, so using Phosphobot run. So this can take a few seconds. Phosphobot is now running, so you can go to localhost to access the Phosphobot dashboard. As we can see here, I forgot to connect my robots, so I'm going to do this now, using these two wires. And now I can see two little robot heads at the top of the page. So it means I have two robots connected. Good news is, if you order the robots through Phospho, they are already calibrated. If you made them your own, or if you order them from other companies, you probably need to calibrate them. So you can use this button here and start the calibration. Basically take less than one minute and it's very well documented. Your robots are calibrated, they are connected, so you can start recording data sets, uh, teleporting robots, and eventually train AI models to make intelligent robots. Now, I'm going to show you how to teleoperate your robots and record datasets. First of all, let's open the Phospho Teleoperation MetaQuest app. Now, you can see two windows. The left one lists the Phosphobot servers, so yours should appear here. If it doesn't, you can go to the right window and input directly your IP address. You can find it in the Phosphobot dashboard. So, mine appears in the left window, so let's connect. Great, I'm in. So now I can start teleoperating my robot. First, press A once. Now I can move my robot and start making what I want. Whenever I want to stop, I press A again, and my robots stop moving. When I want to move them again, I press A again. Simple, right? Okay, now you may wonder what is this dashboard? So here you can see your different camera streams. Here I have three cameras connected, so my webcam, <laughs> you can see my back here, the stereo cam right here, and a wrist camera directly stick to the robot. So this can take a lot of bandwidth, so I advise you not to show the camera feeds when you record datasets. However, do not worry, cameras are always recording, it's just for you to see them. So let's them off. All right. Now let's record datasets. So first of all, you need to press B once. Now, as you can see, recording has started. So now I can perform a task. So let's press A once. Okay, now I can move. Let's say I want to grab this piece and put it in the black box. Amazing. Let's stop the robot. Now I can stop my recording by pressing B again. Remember, we press B once to start the recording, we press B again to stop the recording. And now, my episode is saved in my computer and on the Phospho dashboard. That's it, now you know how to teleoperate your robots and record datasets in order to train models and make intelligent robots.